Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a 4th of July look for you guys. It is this look I've created right here. If you want a up close view. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, please keep watching. So I'm going to first start out with priming my face with the e.l.f. tone adjusting primer. This is the green one that they have. And I only take a little bit and then just rub it all over. I usually center my primers on my nose and my cheeks and just kind of rub it out from there. Now I'm going to go with my Tarte Concealer and Spot Conceal before I put on my foundation just so I don't have to do it after. I find that it looks a little bit more natural if you do do it before and then your foundation will sit over it and be like another level of coverage and I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to be mixing two foundations today, the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm in Vanilla Glow and the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination in Medium. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger of both and just dab it all over my face. I'm going to put more of the Too Faced one, just a pump of that. So. Now I am going to just blend this out with my beauty blender. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of cream contouring with the Anastasia Cream Kit Contour and I have mine in light and I usually use this shade and then this one and I usually use it with a little bit of the banana colored one too. So I always put just a little bit of some type of oil in there, it doesn't really matter which kind it is. So I just think it makes it easier to work with, which is what I like. I mean, you can see my foundation is literally so glowy and that's all I've put on was primer and foundation and it's my favorite thing. So I'm just going to put swipes here and then bring it down on my forehead. And I'm not really the type of person who contours my nose, I just don't. So I usually do with powder, but I'm going to take the Luxie 524 T stippling brush and just go over that. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the medium color in here and then mix it with some of the banana color. Just place that. And I'm also going to put that on my forehead and down my nose a little bit to highlight. Right there. And on my chin. So I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Adding the oil just really makes it blend out so much easier, which I love. And now, some you can conceal before you do this, so your dark circles go away and all of that. But, I mean, I don't have super bad dark circles that I'm really that concerned with. So, I usually don't because I don't like to have that much, like, heavy makeup on my face. Now, I'm going to go in and bake with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And now I'm pretty much gonna put powder everywhere where I put the light color. And I didn't put any colors here, but I'm going to put powder there just to clean up that line. So now I'm just gonna swipe away my bake with my IT Cosmetics powder brush and then I'm also going to rub that all over my face just to set the rest of my face. And I also did go and do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. And now I'm going to... I think I'm going to go on to my eyes just because. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. And then blend that out with this brush I got off Amazon. 
Now I'm gonna use the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette and I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques brush, the crease brush, and I'm gonna go into this Pirate's Chest color right here. And put that all in my crease. And I'm gonna go in with this Ipsy brush. There really isn't any like darker brown colors to go into. So uh, I'm actually just going to go into my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette since it's right here and grab this color which is like the lighter color in the palette and just grab a little bit and put that also in my crease. And I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush with this it Cosmetics like dual end brush and the fluffier side and I'm just going to blend out that harsh line. Since it is the 4th of July and it's like fireworks and sparklers and all of that I do want to make my eyes sparkly so I'm definitely going to go in with probably this shiver me color right here and I'm going to go in right all over my lid with that color. Just look at this color, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu spray and just spray my brush and see if that can make it any more pigmented. Ooh, look at that, that's so pretty. So I finished up the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Tardis um, eyeliner. And this one's in navy, it's their clay paint liner. I just have the smaller one. And then it came with this brush and I'm gonna use this longer end. And I'm just gonna put a wing on with that. I've never used this navy blue one. It doesn't seem very navy blue. So I got my wings on. Definitely not as blue as I want it to be. It is a very dark, I mean it's navy blue. But I still think it's kind of cool. I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pots and Pans. And it's just silver. It's just a silver eyeliner. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. Okay, so on the same brush, I'm going to take this Starry Night color, the blue color right there, and just put that under there also. I'm hoping it'll create a little, make it a little bit more blue and a little bit more fun. I love this color. It's literally so pigmented. So I think that really does just make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more 4th of July E. Now I'm going to go on and finish the rest of my face. I always like to do my mascara last. So I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and my e.l.f. Ultimate Kabuki Brush and go in with the middle color right here and just bronze up my face. Now I'm going to go in with this middle banana color right here on an e.l.f. brush. This is the blush brush and I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes just to highlight it and make it brighter. Put it a little bit on my forehead too because it's looking a little, looking just real bronzy up there. I'm going to go in with this Laura Geller. Baked Gel Vivid Swirl Blush in Rose Water. It's so pretty. I use the Eco Tools Round Powder Brush. Is that? Then I'm gonna take my big powder brush and go over everything. And I'm gonna first start with my highlight, going with the Mary Illuminizer, just for a nice, good glow. And I'm gonna take my Elf fan brush to do that. And 
and then I'm gonna go into the Moon Child palette by Anastasia. But I'm gonna go into this blue ice color right here. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Just like I swirled it in there, if you can see. And like when you move it, it just like reflex blue. And I think it's so pretty. But I'm actually gonna go on with this Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush to do that because I think it'll pick up some of the color a little bit better. Now I'm gonna spray this Mario Badescu all over my face just so everything can seep in. And I'm gonna go over with my Beauty Blender and just press everything down. This will really make your face look a lot less powdery. And I'm gonna go back into that Moonchild palette with this blue moon color right here. And I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corner on this Eco Tools smudge brush. Just grab a little bit. I wish these had mirrors. If these had mirrors on them, that would literally be perfect. Like these palettes would be the bomb. And with that same brush, I'm going to go into the first blue ice color that we put on and put that over it. And then I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer with again the same brush and highlight my brow bone. So now I'm just going to do my mascara and I'm of course going to go in with the Perversion Urban Decay first and then I'm going to go over it with Buxom, I don't know if this is a name, the Buxom Waterproof Lash Mask. So now I want to end this look with a nice like bold red lip so I'm going to go into the Ciate Liquid Velvet in Diva. I'm so bad at doing my lips guys. No joke, it's never going to look perfect, so just do my best. I do like how these have a pointier end, so it's almost like you don't need a lip liner because, like, I don't buy lip liners, honestly. So... I don't think it looks that bad. I think I could work with it. I honestly love Ciate. Everything I've ever tried from them is so good. I've never really bought anything. I've just gotten things in Ipsy bags and everything is fabulous. So I need to buy more things. I don't know why more people aren't talking about them. So I'm just gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And I'll see you next time.